Fantasy Football Panic Meter, Week 13, What Should We Really Be Worried About? For a significant number of fantasy football managers, panic is simply their default state. It's home base. They are never not panicking. To panic is to care. We made the questionable decision to engage with the most panic-stricken among you by asking who you're fretting about in Week 13, and, for the usual, you replied with plenty of big names. Let's begin with the one submission that was actually a small surprise. Okay, this one caught me unaware, because A, Twa has actually been one of the best fantasy decisions you've made this year and B, he has the commanders ahead on the schedule, which is obviously a gift. Tagovailo is coming off a quiet week, sure, but no reasonable person expected an eruption against the Jets. The lone concern surrounding Twa entering the season, health, has been a complete non-issue to this point. You can already put this pick in the W column. But since Ian's nature is clearly to worry about things that are actually going quite well, here's an unfun fact about Miami, when we reach weeks 15 to 17, they face the Jets, Cowboys and Ravens. That's as difficult a three-game stretch as any team will face, and it hits in the most important weeks on the fantasy calendar. Not ideal. Combined, those three defenses have intercepted 35 passes in 34 games and they allow just 173.9 passing yards per week. Basically, Tagovelo is looking like he might be one of those guys who drags your team into the fantasy playoffs, then torpedoes your squad when losing is not an option. So a certain level of pre-panic is acceptable. Let's just try to live in the moment and enjoy the delights that Washington's defense can offer. On the one hand, it seems wild that so many people now panicking about Pukanakua had definitely never heard of him three months ago. This game is never short on plot twists. Whatever it cost you to originally acquire Nakua, you have clearly profited. Puka has seen either seven or eight targets in five of his last six games, which is like 37 fewer chances per week, give or take, than he was seeing in September. So that's a bummer. He will not, in fact, shatter all known receiving records. But this is still a gifted rookie who is doing unspeakable things to defensive players and he's had some recent near misses on potential big plays. It seems likely that some of this week's Nakua worry is really just anger about the fact that Matthew Stafford threw four TD passes on Sunday and none of them went to a wide receiver.